All right, one of my favorite ways to use make.com is dynamic prompting with GPT-4. So you can always go to ChatGPT and you can type in anything you want, but if you want to generate content dynamically based on a list of items you have or a variable that you're pulling in from somewhere else, you're gonna to need to use dynamic prompting. Um, so to give you guys an example, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the tools module and we're going to set a variable and the variable name will be um, story context and we're just going to say a Yeti in a hotel. I don't know, completely random. And the next thing we're gonna do is add the ChatGPT module. So you're gonna add a new module and you're going to search for OpenAI. You're gonna grab this one and you're going to create a completion. Um, for this, you can honestly use any model you want, but for this specific model, I'm gonna use GPT-4. Uh, I'll just use the regular one, it's a bit less confusing. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to add some messages. So first we're gonna add a system message and I'm gonna say, you are an expert storyteller. I want you to generate a story about the topic I provide. Then we're gonna add another message, that's a user message. So this is the content that's actually coming from me. And if I just take a step back, the system message is going to explain to the LLM what exactly we're trying to accomplish here. It's kind of giving it instructions. And then the user message is the actual message that I'm sending it. Um, so we'll say, um, we'll put in story context here. I was thinking about writing maybe story equals or, or story context equals, but I don't want to write anything about the story in this module here or in this message here. I'm just gonna put the story context and show you guys how this works. So from the system message, it already knows that it's an expert storyteller and that it's generating a story about the topic I'm providing. We're giving it the topic um, from a variable here in the next user message. So this is all set, ready to go. I'm just gonna show you guys, we will run it once. It might take a minute for this generation to complete. So I will uh, come back when it's completed. Okay, it looks like the story has been generated. Um, so the way that we can access the story and we can see what it has generated is we'll just click this little one up here above the module. And we're gonna need to dial into the JSON to figure out exactly what the response was. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on choices. Then we're gonna click on the first choice. We only told it to generate one choice, but you can have ChatGPT generate, you know, three, four different responses if you want. In this example, we just chose one. So I'm gonna click on one and we're gonna check the message. In that message, we have the role assistant. So that's the, the assistant message that it's responding with. And we're gonna check the content. So you can see the Yeti's Grand Vacation. And it basically just tells a story about a Yeti in a hotel. Um, so then you can go in here and you can change this to be honestly, whatever you want. Let's just say we wanted to change this to be a giraffe. Then you can click run once and it will uh, generate another story. Now in practice, you obviously wouldn't be setting this variable each time. You'd be using something from maybe Airtable and you'd be pulling in a bunch of different Airtable records, generating things based on that and then probably putting it back into Airtable. But I just wanted to set a variable to show you guys kind of an example of how this works and uh, give you ideas for how you can use it in other automations.